Hey everybody, Matt with the Low Cash Homestead. So they have our new septic system installed. And what we're looking at now is where they reseeded everything. And they did tell me that the ground's gonna be a little bit wet till all this grass grows, because the way this works is these lines are eight or 10 inches down. They're uh, pressure emitters with vacuum breakers. And so a dosing pump comes on, and we'll look at that stuff here in a minute. A dosing pump comes on, feeds the lines, some of it goes down, and then the grass and the grass roots help to evaporate it. Now, um, this was seeded in K31. Um, I was under the impression or told that this would be getting turf grass or golf course grass uh, because the roots would be deeper, which would allow for better evaporation, but instead it was seeded in K31. We'll have to address that later. And for those of you who are not familiar, K31 is a fescue, but it's kind of a clumping uh, type of fescue. It kind of grows in clumps versus being uh, like a mat of grass. Okay, so all of this has been done. And one thing that they did do is they did uh, dig out and abate the areas where the, uh, where the damage had occurred. And, and scoop those out and you can see there's quite a bit of grass seed and stuff right here I have a commercial blend of seed that I use for some other areas that I actually got um, season clothes out at Wally World for a pretty decent price and I every time I'm in there I get like a little bag of it like I think it's like five pounds or something like that so all of this is the new leach field one thing that I did think that was cool is it had some leftover dirt and the uh, contractor asked me what he should do with it. And I said, hey, I got a low spot over here in this wash. Go fill that in with it. And so he pushed all of that down here into this wash and piled stones on the back of it to, uh, to retain it so it wouldn't flood all off. If you look here, you'll see these little blue seeds, that's the commercial. And that is a golf course, um, it's, they don't call it golf course fescue, but it's a, it's a blend of denser turf type fescues versus the K31. And so I'm gonna have to, and I know from experience, because I've had to seed this before from the last time that the uh, contractor tore this up and didn't do it. And I still can't get into quite all the details of why this had to be done multiple times different contractor did it this time and I was rather impressed with this contractor uh, we do have a mound here this right here with the tree and all those rocks um, that tree was planted when we moved in here um, about six or eight months after we moved in here when my uh, my dog died so that's kind of a memorial to there are two dogs buried there let's take a look at how this works here so we have our clean out up there by the house and then this is our main tank. And then that sound you hear, that's a Venturi air system. So it's sucking air through a Venturi system and aerating the tank. We have a clean out there. We have some valve assemblies here. And then this is the dosing tank. And I think this is um, a thousand, both these tanks I believe are a thousand gallons. And they say that this will treat 750 gallons per day here we have our control system which is screwed shut and i'm not going to open it right now but it does have a audible alarm for high water and then this was all uh put in on a post and i looked inside of this system and i'll see i don't remember if i took footage of it or not when i was talking to the contractor well i love you too now go cook breakfast Uh, but it's uh, it's timers and relays and uh, breakers and and stuff like that So, you know each component could be changed if it had a malfunction or a failure It will not give you intermittent alarming So once the, the audible goes off you can power that audible reset that audible But this little light will stay on until the system is cleared of its high water functions Meaning that you've been able to get some of the system pumped out now it pumps out every, for 15 minutes at a time, like every hour.
I wanted a gravity feed system, which was what originally was here. Um, with like 12 inch sock pipe, simply because there was no components to fail. You know, obviously if somebody sticks a track hoe through it, uh, which is what caused the system failure the first time, and an inexperienced contractor stuck a track hoe uh, through the septic lines. Once that happened, uh, based on the age of the system, and everything was functional until that point, but once that happened, then, you know, a lot of the laws and rules have changed. If the system had stayed operational, then we wouldn't have needed a new system. But the system was considered non-operational. And so we had to have an entire uh, new septic put in. Good news is I didn't have to pay for this because I had a contractor who screwed up and stuck a track hoe through my septic system and destroyed it well he was fired <laughs> and a, uh, another contractor was was brought in to do the job we'll get more into that the necessity of the job once all the legal stuff is, is closed out so basically that's the new septic and i want to i'm kind of in a hurry to get some some grass growing here now in the areas where the drip pipe is um, that is going to flush a lot of nitrogen because this is waste that we're handling here. So that's going to flush a lot of nitrogen. I'm hesitant to put a high nitrogen lawn starter fertilizer on that area, but I probably will on the rest of the area. So I'm going to let, we're kind of letting it all settle for a little bit. It hasn't rained in a week or so. We got a little bit of a storm the other day, but it's been a very, very wet summer. And hasn't rained in a week or so, so that's kind of been an issue. I might have to put some irrigation out here to get the other half of this started. And I will also probably have to put out some more seed. I think I'm going to use some of that commercial seed mixture that I have. And I have some uh, sun and shade to fill in some of that area over there where um, just from the dense shade and the washing that, that occurs... Although I want to use a deep-rooted turf-type grass to, uh, to tighten up that flow and to keep that ground from washing out um, to have a lot more vegetation on there. Okay, this is Matt with the Low Cash Homestead. We're just giving you a look at our completed system. And, hey, deer print. Here we go. Uh, they come through, they're through, through, through here all the time. Um, so here's the issue though is when deer season comes I just take my uh, My uh, deer harvester we're gonna call it because YouTube sometimes doesn't like certain words So we're gonna I take my deer harvester and I just climb up on the roof and I wait and Maybe I harvest a deer and maybe I don't but in this particular confines. I use uh, usually a one ounce deer harvester um, also, they did manage to get rid of all the stumps that the previous contractor just pulled out of the ground and left behind. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do back here because it was extremely difficult to do any kind of maintenance on the lawn while all this work was going on. And now I have this mass overgrown thing that I'm probably going to have to come through with a Toro and get rid of. Also, uh, they left one of the previous vents, which needed to come out and so we'll have to get rid of that and I think there's one more back there and they've left an ankle breaker back here which they kind of halfway filled in I said hey throw some rocks in there and, and cover it up and get rid of that ankle breaker but back here where they did one of the test digs they left me some ankle breakers back here so I'm gonna have to grind that down and I do have some like soil um, just fill dirt you know you get for like a dollar a bag or something I'm going to try and fill that in. I also might just pile it full of cedar mulch and call it a day and let it rot. Okay, this is Matt with the Low Cash Homestead. Thank you very much. We've got a lot of work ahead of us after our septic system's been installed. Thank you very much. Have a great day.